Welcome to Waz Watch, and today is going to be a little bit different. Today, instead of reviewing a movie, I am going to try to predict a movie. Now, the biggest movie of the year, arguably, is going to be Star Wars The Force Awakens Episode 7. I have already bought my tickets. I'm incredibly psyched to see it. I'm going to see it on opening night, and you bet I'm going to review it. But one of the things that I'm most looking forward to is to see kind of how they connect uh, the previous films with the new trilogy. And I have some ideas that I hope, hope they do. Now, first off, I need to come clean. I am a fan of villains. I think bad guys are one of the best parts of any movie. Uh, my wife Ashley actually kind of finds it a little bit annoying uh, because I'm always somewhat rooting for the bad guy because I feel without a proper bad guy, your movie will fail. If your hero does not have something that he has to overcome and if it's not a great thing that he has to overcome, then it almost makes the movie horrible. You need a good villain. You need a good bad guy. And so uh, we are looking into... Kylo Ren, and the expectations of what is going to happen now that Darth Vader's out of the picture and now that the Emperor is out of the picture, who will rise up and be the new Star Wars bad guy? Now, there's a theory that's going around, and I am 100% for it. And I was thinking this when I was watching the trailer, and the big question that came up was, where is Luke Skywalker? We know that he is in this movie, but we do not see him. So is he going to be what a lot of people think? The new Obi-Wan Kenobi, kind of this off-to-the-side uh, wise man who's going to come in a little bit into the movie to help train whoever the newest Jedi is, kind of rehash the old Obi-Wan Luke Skywalker, but now it's Luke Skywalker and the newest uh, Jedi. Is that what they're going to do? And they just want to wait and save the payoff of seeing uh, Luke Skywalker on the screen again um, until you're actually in the theater. I think they could do it better. I think that Luke Skywalker has gone to the dark side where he belongs. You guys have been holding up Luke Skywalker as a false idol for too long. Luke Skywalker is a bad guy. It makes total sense. I actually just watched all the Star Wars all over again, and it is completely crystal clear that Luke Skywalker is a bad guy. 100% is a bad guy. Few things. One, he is too old to start training. Yoda says it right off the bat. We never see someone this old start the training. Want to know why? Because he's already too much emotionally involved. He's already too much developed to where he can't be molded to be uh, his character like a Jedi. He already has that developed as a young adult already. He's too old to become a Jedi. But they need him. They force it. They push and push and push that he gets trained. Yoda says he's too old. Uh, that there's much fear in him, even when he's in the Dagobah system and he has to confront Darth Vader and he's about to go in the Darth Vader, the swamp version. Yoda says, hey, you don't need your weapons. He disobeys Yoda, takes in his weapons anyways, runs into Vader, pulls out his weapon first. This isn't even a Han Solo thing where it's who shot first. He deliberately, before Vader even pulls his weapon, pulls his weapon first, a few quick slashes, and then boom, kills Vader. Wanna know why? Because he's a bad guy. Also, when he goes to save Leia and Han from Cloud City and from Vader in Cloud City, Yoda specifically says, if you leave now, you're gonna fail. You will fail. We have not completed your training. You're not going to succeed if you leave right now. And what does he do? He leaves. What does he do when he gets there? He confronts his father. And that causes more anger and hate to grow inside of him. He fails. He Yoda says, hey, if you leave, you will become part of the dark side. Well, then I'm going to leave. That is a clear statement that he is going to go to the dark side. Now let's fast forward. Return of the Jedi. We see him dressed like a Sith Lord. That's the big cloak over his head. and We haven't seen him for a little bit. He is deceptive, he lies, he threatens to kill. All of these things are not what a Jedi does. 
why are what a Sith would do. Seriously, watch Return of the Jedi with the thought that he is a Sith Lord. Not that he's the good guy running in to save Han Solo. He is the bad guy with selfish motives who's going after Han. Now, is Han his friend? Yeah. I mean, if it was a regular hero, that totally makes sense that he would go and rescue Han. But the Empire has nothing to do with the Huts. He destroys the Huts. Literally wipes them out. That's not very Jedi-like. Also, when he is cornered by the Emperor, and the Emperor is trying to uh, make him fully turn to the dark side, his lightsaber's right there, and he says, I can feel your hatred. Take your weapon. I'm unarmed. Strike me down. And once Luke realizes his friends are in a trap and that they're probably going to die, what does he do? Reaches out, grabs his lightsaber, tries to kill the Emperor, and Vader stops him, making the Emperor laugh with joy. Why? Because he has fully turned to the dark side at this point. If you look at the progression of Anakin Skywalker to Darth Vader, this would be equivalent to where the Emperor is about to be struck down by Mace Windu, and when he's about to, boom, Anakin strikes down Mace Windu instead because of his own selfishness and anger. It's a complete and total parallel. Then, they fight, 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 fight. He seems to kind of regain his cool a little bit. Does not mean he has not turned to the dark side. He has. He's already in the dark side. It's just a matter of where he's going now. Already turned to the dark side. And then while Vader's trying to find him, discovers that Leia is his sister and his daughter. And so he says the thing that makes Luke snap. If we will not turn you, maybe we can get her to turn. Luke comes out of the darkness and tries to just hack and slash. We see this with anger. He is boom, 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 going after Vader, trying to cause harm to Vader, not to disarm, not to stop, not to try to save his father, but to kill Vader. And he wants to kill him out of anger. And we see him. When Vader goes down, he doesn't just disarm him. He chops, and he chops, and he chops, until finally he chops his father's hand right off. And then once again, comes to his senses and says, no, I will never join you. But it's too late. You can't just... That's like me going out and committing a crime and then being like, oh, no, I'll never be a criminal. Too late. You already did. You can't just, okay, I have these flare-ups of anger and hate, but then when it's convenient, oh, okay, well, now I'm going to be a Jedi. We have to remember, when he went back to the Dagobah system, Yoda was old and dying. He never was able to complete his training. He is not a trained Jedi. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's literally got, he's like a very dangerous person. He knows very little about the Force besides just how to use it. He doesn't know how to control it. He's this uncontrolled, crazy person that's filled with rage, and I can't wait because in episode 7, he should be the bad guy. I don't know if he's Kylo Ren, because in the trailers we say, I will finish what you started, and they show Vader's burnt up mask. And so what I'm really hoping was that Luke, follow me now, Luke wants to run the Empire. He wanted to as father and son, try to save his dad. And I could see this happening just like it did with Anakin when he wanted to overthrow the emperor and say, I can defeat the emperor. I'm stronger than him and we can rule the galaxy together. And he's trying to convince Padme that we can run it and it can be good. I think that Luke's going to try to do the same thing. Not that he's going to be this evil, mean, um, horrible person, but I think he's going to be misguided. I think what he's going to do is think, that I can do this better. If I was the one in charge and not the Emperor, we could have peace. We could have uh, unity in the galaxy if only I was the one in charge. And I think and I hope that's where they go because it would be so gutsy to have the guy who is crowned as your hero, even if you look at it, he shouldn't be, crowned as your hero, be the biggest villain you've seen. This guy who has all of the force power is the one who's bringing balance to the force by 
being the best bad guy ever. I think it would be phenomenal. I hope that's what happens in episode 7, and I would love to see that happen. Even if Kylo Ren is just another bad guy, I'll still probably love the movie, but if they take this move, I would literally stand up and applaud and then get popcorn thrown at me because I'm going to watch it opening night. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think that Luke Skywalker is a bad guy? He is. Do you think that he's going to be a bad guy in the new film, or do you think that he's just a complex hero? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, are you planning on seeing Episode 7 opening night? I would love to hear your thoughts, maybe even your fan theories. There's a Jar Jar Binks theory out there that is wonderful, and I love it. If you guys have any other fan theories, please let me know about them in the comments down below. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. I'm Matt Wasbinski, and may the Force be with you.